The Triple B Podcast would like to invite you to come break bread with your brothers. If you like what you're hearing on the show, if you think we missed the mark, or if we got it all wrong, reach out to us on social media. We can be reached on Twitter at triple underscore B underscore pod or search Brothers Breaking Bread Podcast. We are the Brothers Breaking Bread on Facebook and our email is brothersbreakingbreadpod at gmail.com. Further descriptions are in the show notes. Like, follow, friend, do all that good stuff. And please never forget to break bread with your brothers. How y'all doing? We out here chilling in the spot. What up? How y'all doing? We out here chilling in the spot. What up? going on y'all brothers breaking bread podcast in the house lost yourself a customer you think i own this business you think i own ikea i'm a part-time employee halfway through a two-week notice i don't give a shit i'm telling all my friends not to shop here tell them you think i want five other yous running around the store have them call me i'll tell them you think you hate this place more than me i work here i know the sale ended last week but can i still get a discount do you hear yourself we can't go backwards. Time marches on. You want the sale from 15 years ago, too? When's it end, Diane? You want that price? You're going to have to go through the quantum realm with Ant-Man. You know how much money I spend here? More than you should. The meatballs ain't that good. Save your money. End my time. It doesn't matter how much you spend here. We don't thank our donors. This isn't PBS. Every time I come here, my order gets messed up. Then stop coming. Make my day. Every time you come here, your order's messed up. Sounds like you're making the mistake. Look inward. You're ordering the wrong shit. I'd like to speak to your manager. I'd like to speak to your mother. Tell her she should be embarrassed. She raised someone to act like a baby in public. You want to speak to the manager, please? Manager doesn't know what's going on. Haven't you ever worked anywhere before? I know that's... (laughs) I'm sorry. (laughs) I'm sorry. I never got that deep into the video. No, oh, did shit. you watch the whole thing? I, I, did, man. I think I, I was at work crying. and I just started cooking because it reminded me of every job I ever had. Every job. Every job. So I had to I had to just close my phone and put it in my back pocket. Yeah, Hold on. No, Hold on. He clowns. Hold on. He clowns. Hold on. This is the part I'm supposed to be. Hold on. This is part I'm supposed to be professional. Hey, 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 hey. Triple B podcast. Brothers breaking bread. Ten meters. Half of them brothers of doom. I'm the KC story. And this white man is talking to my soul right now on this fucking this audio. He's cooking. He cooking That's like it. a motherfucker. We yeah, are yeah. here. We in the house. Let it, let it, let it be known. Y'all, y'all run him back. Give him some more. I'm, I'm, I'm going to give this nigga some more room. But I just, I, I just wanted to get the intro in. And you know how we do. I'm going to hit this, uh, this triangle here. Let him cook. It's not right. I used to work here. Well, things change. Sorry they didn't run it by you first to work here. Well, I used to be happy. (laughs) Then you walked in. Can you just check in the back? Can you just accept we don't have it? The back ain't some magical place. What do you think is back there? Santa's workshop? The only thing back there is a clipboard with our schedules and some brownies Darcy brought in. The website said it was in stock, and what do your eyes say? Understand this. (laughs) 
<laughs> Understand this. Understand this. We are, nigga, I'm crying right now. We are at a minute 51 into a four minute and 27 video. I'm already crying. Oh, he clowns. So he clowns the whole video, bro. He's bitter, bro. He's talking like, like specifically life. when I was a lifeguard at one of these country. I won't say the country club. So literally, I know you like You like guard? Yeah, I was lifeguard. Matter of fact, at your, sc- I I got my certification at your fine school there. Oh, I got my certification there too. Okay. 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 Well, well, uh, oh, was, it, was it the brother? Uh, it was his. Uh, I got I got it in class though. It was it was during school day. Okay, it was I got it in school class. day. No, no, yeah, I, was, I was like after yeah. hours. Uh, this uh, I mean, he was hard on us too. This uh, older brother, kind of uh, slim brother, but yeah, 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 yeah. I was like, I was out there one of the uh, these uh, it was a country, it was a private p- private uh, club out there by uh, the Plaza Country Club area. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, I won't say the oh, West, Westwood. It's not Westwood. What's the other, um shit? It's off War Parkway. Um, if you ain't talking about that, I don't know. Yeah, okay. Anyway. Oh, P- Prairie Village. No, that that no. Prairie Village. That's a city. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, I no, I'm sorry. No, no, I know you're saying. I, I know, I know what the country club you're talking about. I'm not gonna about. say yeah. it. Oh, if y'all say it, I'll just go. Uh huh. Anyway, but um. Yeah, I was only I was only I was only nigga there, but um, yeah, like it was a lot of like I seen a lot, I saw a lot of that, had to deal with a lot of that, and I just be like, yeah, you need just I don't know what you want me to do. Your kid is running, and I told that nigga to sit down because I don't want him yeah. to bust his fucking head and be so bleeding, you know, and bleeding yeah. in the pool. <laughs> yes, but anyway, yeah, this is speaking to my soul right now. Oh, I didn't know you was I didn't know you was lifeguard, Joe. Yeah, I, I did like six summers, bro. Six summers, I did uh, two. Mm-hmm. I did like I did like uh, four when we was in college, and then uh, I did two as a manager, okay. like within the last within the last ten years. Yeah. Yeah, mm-hmm. I don't want to say yeah. easy money, but not hard money. If you had a no. at least, if you had a pool, and for me, the pool I was at, they had a swim team, so it was literally me sitting there while the swim team practiced a lot of times. Wow, I don't know about you, but I was in the hood. I was I was in okay. Casey Parks. Totally different. My bad. I'll shut up. Totally different. And, <laughs> and, and, and I'm not I'm not saying it was either better or worse. No, it, it wasn't fucking Baywatch in terms no, of like no no say, no no going no, no. to the ocean or nothing like that. But, but uh, you know, yeah, you had to make a save here and there. But it would be some ratchet shit going on too, though. You know. <laughs> I put I put it this way, yeah, rat the shit. So I'm saying I think yours is more uh, babysitting, more than a lot of things. For me, most of my quote unquote saves came from the times when I had to do my rotation by the baby pool, and it was just like yeah. parents yeah. not fucking paying attention and me just pulling fucking two year olds out of the pool by their fucking legs because they parents. That, and that, that was part of it for me too, yeah. but. Uh, Every once in a while, you had to get in the deep end. You know what I'm saying? Right. I think one time, one time I had to. But once again, I said a lot of my time was spent in the high chair on the deep end while the diving team, swim team practiced. Now, I will say there were some good times after hours at the pool. I'm going to leave it there. Uh, See. See, sir. I, I, I would give, they can't see this. I'll just give you the salute and just say, yes. see. <laughs> Indeed. The, sometimes the job has certain benefits. Certain yeah. perks. I understand. Yes. I go. totally understand. I got you. Outside perks, of the, outside perks, perks, of the perks. free, outside of the free uh, chicken fingers Very I got perks, from, perks. The, uh, from the grill for being employed. Mm-hmm. Anyway, there we go. <laughs> okay. Hold on. I'm going to let them cook a little bit longer. Hey. Sometimes it's wrong. The website also has pictures of employees smiling. You see that? You should go yell at the computer instead of me. It'll get you the same result. Nothing. This is cheaper at other stores than shop there. Why are you here? Do you need directions? I'll get you some. I'll call you an Uber. Cheaper at other stores. I don't set the prices. I'm a seasonal employee. You working hard or hardly working? I'm hardly laughing. I'm already... Let's leave it there. I'm hardly laughing, bitch. 
The other day, someone said, working hard or hardly working, and I said, flash it. They didn't get it. <laughs> left deck, nigga. <laughs> nigga, limp. Yeah. Good enough to get in, not right. hard enough to finish the job. <laughs> That's where we at, bitch. Yes. <laughs> anyway. Nah, man. So let, you know, you know, we laugh. Let's do our check ins. Ten, how you living, Pip? Yeah. You've been, you've been, you've been absent. Yes. Well, you were here, absence. but then you yes, had to, I... you had to leave like Batman. Yeah. Yeah. How you um, living, Pimp? So here's my return okay. <laughs> to the brothers. Um, yeah, I've been gone a couple weeks. Um, had a very interesting weekend last weekend. Um, uh, I pretty much uh, was with a friend, and we celebrated their birthday and things like that. And it was it was pretty cool. It was pretty cool. Uh, went out, um, went out to dinners and and celebrations and things like that. And it's been and been pretty good. Uh, as far as the work aspect, um, things are getting a little hectic. It's that time of year again where. Uh, cases start to ramp up at the end of the year, and insurance uh, insurance premiums. It's because the insurance premiums go up in Co- January. Copays. Mm. So they're trying to get uh, uh, trying to get their uh, procedures and everything in before the end of the year, and that's what's basically you know we got to hunker down now that we're short uh, manpower. Um, we just got to hunker down and, you know, kind of fill in the gaps and things like that. But other than that, everything down here in the old bayou is uh, it's pretty quiet for now. Knocking on wood. Um, hopefully there's no um, storms coming or anything like that. Uh, first of all, I would like to give a shout out to some of my fans out there. I hear some people been missing the old 10 on the uh, podcast. The and I'm just going to leave it at that. <laughs> Ten's back, baby. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and throw it over to my brother Joe. Joe, how you living, brother? Uh, uh man. Been, uh, we, 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 we get it day by day, man. Just I know that's day right. Day. I know that's right. Uh, parent teacher conferences, cross country meets, uh, you know. Yeah, all all the regulars, all the regulars. So, you know, that's that educator's life, my brother. That's right, Donnie Bosco. What's up, man? Donnie Bosco, I like that dog. I like that. <laughs> that's better, than Archie Bunker. I like that shit. Hey man, yeah. uh, I can't complain. Um, last week we talked about it. Boys had a tough loss. Twins had mm-hmm. a tough loss. Um, uh, mm-hmm. bounced back this week. When we left, it was uh, 38 to 0, and I'm sure it was 38 to 0 because we left in the fourth quarter. A uh, mm-hmm. couple, couple of catches by both the boys. Uh, can't awesome. be mad. Uh, shout out to, uh, um, quote unquote, my brother, but uh, my sister, uh, Sylvia's brother, uh, Tony, his wife, uh, and then uh, my uh, cousin um, came through to uh, watch the boys play. So, okay. you know, I always love when family come through and support. And then um, I haven't really spoken about it much on here. I know me and Joe talked about my some of my personal life. Um, and I really appre- I appreciate Joe and uh, some discussions I've had with uh, my brother Damon as far as, like, being better um, to just, you know, people in general. So, um yeah, man, just really happy and happy to say uh, me and Maury doing really well, um, happy, moving. Uh, she bought a home, asked me to come into her home, wanted to make it our home, and we're doing all the things to make it our home. And um, I don't know, man, just really happy that I have friends who hold me accountable and just don't say whatever you want to do you do it and brothers like joe brothers like my name and even 10 
Uh, but Tim, Tim wasn't here. If he was here, we would have had the same talks. But me and Joe break right. the bread over Burke. Not much bread there, but definitely a lot of bourbon there. And just saying, hey, man, <laughs> you got to do the right thing. You got to be better. And, yeah, just trying to be better every day, uh, make her happy. And then through her happiness, I've also known, come to see that I'm also happier. So uh-huh. I, I appreciate those talks, uh, Joe. I really do. More, more than you would know, bro. Uh, and also Damon. He ain't here right now, but he's also come through and say, yeah, man, if you're going to do it, do it. You know what I'm saying? And what yeah. she asked you to do, yeah. even though you feel like it's impeding on your quote-unquote freedoms or manhood, whatever, that's bullshit. You do it. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Right. So I, I, I really appreciate it, Joe. I really do. Mm-hmm. Well, I, 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 I'm going to speak for Damon on this one, too. Man, we wish you well. Mm-hmm. We wish All you well. Right. We're we happy to see you happy. Yeah, thank, you, thank you, man. I appreciate well, you, it. Well, you know, uh, coming down here from here, uh, on my perspective, you know, um, I support you what you do. But as far as, you know, telling you what I feel is right and everything like that, you know, uh, I'm going to shoot from the hip, you know. From the hip? Yeah. From the hip, bro. So I'm gonna I'm gonna make sure that you know you get you get it from the raw and you know because I don't think we're you know we don't have that type of relationship where I'm and I'm talking about me and you Roger we don't have that type of relationship where you know well yeah it's cool and everything like that no we tell each other how it is man just and, how it is and and basically it's you know you know what what we feel is true so. Uh, some of my advice would be probably uh, be along the same lines as uh, as um, as yours as as the others. You you there? Ten. Yeah, I'm still here. I'm still here. Can you oh, hear me? Yeah, yeah. You said it was. And yeah. Uh, yeah. And for me, it's like yeah. I I know. Yeah. I'm 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 yeah, just happy, man. Like I said, didn't, didn't yeah, think I'd and, be, and, I, and I'm very happy for you, my brother. Didn't I think am I, very very happy. For you. Didn't think I'd be in a position where coming home to someone, um, uh-huh. happy to see me, um, and, and, yeah. and the other position, yes, I came home to someone who's happy to see me. But you, that's good. You add to the other side of it, just sitting on the couch, and <laughs> some simple as just playing the Nintendo Switch with my with my son, and just like yeah. Yeah, life is good. Anyway, um, outside of that, uh, old nigga moment, Archie Bunker moment uh, coming in. I don't have the music queued up, but uh, uh, I know Joe will definitely put bum, me ba, in. Dum, ba, dum, bum, bum. Hey, man. Um, yeah, I, I strongly believe that if you're anywhere, any facility, and a nigga is walking, nigga or white man, it Nigga is for all human beings, for, for us. We agree to that. If you walking down the middle of the hallway, I should be able to horse collar you and drag you out the middle of the hallway. <laughs> Do we or don't go. we agree? Here we go. <laughs> I'm just saying, dog. Like today, dog. Like, hold on. Es- especially... If you walking down the middle of the hallway and you're not picking your feet up and all I'm hearing is the shuffling of your feet, that is definitely an indicator that you should be on the wall, hugging the wall, just in case you have some kind of cardiac event. Hey, is that foot shuffling uh, that, that the military coming out of you, man? <laughs> I mean, it's not, not nigga. It's like, it's like, nigga, I feel like, I feel like I'm playing Tetris and trying to get to the bathroom. <laughs> Nigga, why are you walking down the middle of the hallway so slowly? Right. Pick a side. <laughs> Nigga, move. <laughs> I should be able to legally grab you by the back of your short, your shirt, and pull you back and break all your AC, all your crucial ligaments, as I drag you out the way and pull you to the side of the hallway. Anyway, God, damn. that was just me today. I was very that I was not happy that day. Uh, I'm like, God damn. Like I got so actually because I had I had I had one old white woman that was doing the white the right thing. I should I'm gonna say the white thing. Doing the right thing and hugging the wall. But then right. she had her foot shuffling buddy who probably wasn't with her, who was shuffling down the middle of the hall. 
So right. I couldn't pass. Right. Okay. Uh, nigga, I hear you, nigga. I hear you, Joe. <laughs> 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 nigga, you see these big ass these big ass headphones I got, nigga. I hear everything, nigga. <laughs> Anyway, anyway, yeah, man. So I'm glad everybody here, man. Let's get into it, man. Let's get into it. Hold Do on. It. Hold on. Wait a minute. Be at work. I don't have time for a second job pretending you're funny. Why don't you tell me something I don't hear every day? Like, thank you. You should open up more registers, and who's going to work them? Let's leave it there. Anyway. Yeah. That's the current, some real shit. Who's that's the current state of the economy. <laughs> who's going to work them, nigga? Walmart. <sighs> okay. I, you know what? I was kind of playing this because the start of the, sh- the, the very the first couple of uh, stories are not happy at all. Huh? Dad shot in the head as he drives kids around to get them to sleep. Washington cop says, "You heard that right." A man. Uh, something I have done in the past. Everybody's done. Everyone. Okay. I mean, I, I, I don't want. I'm brother Joe. Well I, sure. I, I, well, I mean, I mean, ten. You probably know people who have, who have done it. I just know me personally. I've done it, especially like uh, I know when Maury was in school and we just had Grant. Like, okay, he crying. She trying to do her do her master's degree program. I'm gonna throw him in the car. We gonna go for a lap around the apartment complex. At that point in time, right? Right. Right. I, I don't know that I ever. Threw him in the car to get a lap in, but I definitely knew that coming from grandma and grandpa's house, they're gonna be asleep by the time we get to the crib. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Like, 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 like for me, I, I've done it on like on weekends when she was studying. You know what I'm saying? That that was a crucial time because that's when she gets the most. At that point in time, when she's getting her master's degree, it's like I'm up. You know what? We're gonna leave. That way, you can take your test or whatever the fuck. Anyway. <laughs> But yeah, you heard that right. Father driving his, his kid around the neighborhood, and someone decided to shoot. A father driving his, his uh, two children around the Washington neighborhood, trying to get them to fall asleep. When he was shot in the head, the police say he wow. looked suspicious to 23-year-old Isaac Sp- Speakerman, yeah. who was accused uh-huh. of shooting the man early Wednesday morning in Wash. Oh, goddamn, Washington, uh, according yeah. to probable cause statement. Speakerman told police the man drove around the neighborhood multiple times and stopped to photograph his friend's car. It sounds like bullshit to me. When his friend confronted the file, he told police the man punched him in the face and threatened him with a gun. To defend his friend, Speakerman fired his gun three times at the man's car while his two children in the back seat, the statement said. That sounds wow. Like, what? That's some bullshit, man. That That's a bullshit ass statement. So wait a minute. That's... Wait a minute. So I threat, I, I punched you. I punched your friend in the face punched and then the threatened face. him with a gun. But he never got out the car, though. He never got out the car from, from what this statement is saying. The two friends never saw a gun, though, a, a gun, though, and the father never stepped out of his vehicle, the statement said. Oh, Police responded to the incident around 1 a.m. when they found the father with a gunshot wound on the right side of his forehead and the bullet holes on the windshield. The rear passenger window, the in the rear passenger window, uh, authorities in a statement say the victim's wife was on the scene when the police arrived, and the man was treated for his injuries. He's in good condition, police said. I mean, damn, thank God he survived, but shit. Yeah, fuck this. I don't know if he out the woods, but you know what I'm saying. Oh, yeah, I know. Nah, yeah, I did yeah. that too. So that's where we at now. Yeah, Th- that's where we are. White privilege at its finest. I mean, is that I'm, white privilege? Whoa, 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 whoa. Where are you get white privilege from? I'm well, say, a white man, a white man shot a black man in his car, didn't it? Where did you get white man from? I'm gonna say speaker man might be a white man, but I don't know yeah. if the driver is wh- black, black or white. Hold on, we took. There's a picture. Look up Isaac Speaker man. GTS. I'll look I'm up. on it. Oh, you do it. Uh, I got the main screen. There's a picture. Of, there's a picture. Of, I did it. There's a picture of him in a mask. I just don't know where you're getting these white. I don't know. I assume I by the last name. 
But then you figure you but Jewish I or something. You know, you know, niggas took on uh, white folks' last names. Did that too? But I didn't. But I at, at no point in time did I assume the identity of the driver. Uh, yeah. So I, yeah. I, I thought it might have been white on white violence, actually, given the location. Is that Washington State or Washington D.C.? Mm-hmm. Uh, I think that's state. Okay, maybe I was wrong. That man white as hell. Oh, so speaker man is white. Yeah. That's what I. I mean. don't know. I saw. Him. I saw. Uh, I couldn't tell. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Hold on. Okay, we got. We got. Tim might be drunk already. I ain't drunk. Yeah, I can see him right here. Famous last words from a drunk nigga. I ain't drunk. While I'm looking at him, Isaac M. Speakerman. He looked white to me. Is it the picture with him uh, with a uh, mask, mask on? on. Uh-huh. Yeah, I couldn't tell. It could have been light skin or whatever. I don't know. Nigga, that might be Malcolm X's son. I don't know. That might be, that might be Detroit. That might be Detroit Red, nigga. I don't know. It looks white to me. Maybe. He looks white. He looks yeah. white too. But we don't know who we don't know who to pick. We don't know who to drive. You're right. You're right. They did not. They did not identify the race. So the or thing is, where, where, where is uh, Clark County? Mm. That's Washington State, I think. I would say Washington. Sounds like Washington State. Too. Yeah, that's, that's Washington State. I, I don't know for sure, but that's how I think. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I bet you. I bet you do a quick map search and figure out Washington might be in a cut. <laughs> no, no, that's why. I, yeah, I was even, <laughs> since, since since Tim is doing the investigation, okay, I was like, well, maybe you look it up me, for it. Let me finish my investigation. Come on now. So Clark County, Wasago, Washington. Hold on, I'll leave it up there for you. Let's spell it, Wasago. It's right there on the screen. Hey, hold on. I have to pull up. Yeah, hold on. Okay, I got it. Let's see. Oh, yeah, the motherfuckers in the cut. They white. <laughs> that's why. Yeah. That, that's white on white. Yes, yeah, it's, it's uh, next to Vancouver, Washington. I mean, okay. There might, there might be a nigga there. <laughs> yeah, it ain't going to be two to rub together. No. Nah. No, yeah. you're right. But the, but the <laughs> you, you might be right about that joke. Right <laughs> but the bigger, yeah. the bigger, the okay. bigger, yeah, the bigger thing in that was like, damn, this man just riding around with his 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 seed. His yeah, seed, that's, seeds, that's the, that's seeds. His uh, yeah, his um, this man riding around trying to get his kids to go to sleep. Yeah, and and he looks, you know. Yeah, well, this guy looks suspicious, so I'm gonna shoot. Fuck is getting yeah, popped right. for for doing fatherly duties, man. Yeah, yeah. which leads us into uh, so been trying to be a good father. Which leads us into uh, senseless. The impact daily, the impact of daily violence in Kansas City is having a having on nine deadly shooting victims. So, mm-hmm. of course, we talked about it on the show many times these shootings, but we don't. At times we get into the ramifications of collateral damage, but we really haven't really dug into it deeply. But this mm-hmm. article is basically talking about, yeah, you 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 going out there trying to shoot Ray Ray, and mm-hmm. then uh, the little kid who's just trying to ride a bike up and down the street, or just the old man who's just trying to take his daily walk, ends up catching the stray. Right. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's been a series of very violent days, and not, and it has been. The, the The city has been very hot the last couple of days, if y'all been keeping track. Um, violent days and nights in Kansas City, adding to the already alarming and heartbreaking trend of shootings. Essentially, the non-federal shootings are about three times the rate, uh, three times the rate of your already extremely high homicide numbers, said Chief uh, Ivory, uh Officer of uh, Ad Hoc uh, Brandon Mims. We just we just have a whole bunch of attempted homicides that essentially didn't occur. It has drained our system. That's a lot. Of, um, that's a lot of words to say that uh, whoever was, was supposed to get shot didn't get shot, and uh, bystanders mm-hmm. get uh, catching strays. So what I do is I blame COVID for for most of this. 
because people was, yeah, but were yeah. forced to stay inside for but, all that time, and now they're getting out, and they're catching up on their killings. I would agree no, with you, but Kansas, I think, I think Kansas City was, been they, hot, They was bro. killing really hot. It, 2020 was really hot in Kansas City because I yeah, feel like yeah, yeah. motherfuckers was, you know, bored at home, didn't have nothing else to do, but get out right. and do the bullshit. Right. And I, I agree with you, Joe. There, there were a lot of niggas getting killed uh, from violence during the 2020 um, quarantine. Yeah. And I will say well, that, that Kansas City has steadily – been hot, been in that top ten for oh, yeah. a, numerous years. So I, I, ten, I don't top ten in terms of uh not not necessarily in terms of numbers because you know probably, we're not uh, a top yeah. ten city, right? But top definitely always top consistently top ten in terms of uh murder rate. Yeah, yeah. murder rate. And right, so right, yeah, right, right. I mean yeah. yeah, we we have unfortunately earned the moniker Killer City. Yeah. You know so I mean? I, I don't want to. I don't want to let and I, yeah, I'll fuck it. I'll say let us off as a community. Um mm-hmm. say it's cuz of covid. Nah. Niggas been fucking up for a hot minute. Oh fuck no. Fuck well, well, yeah, yeah. I, I hot nigga for the duration. <laughs> Yeah, the duration. Yeah, yeah. the duration. We've been I, fucking I can't, up here. Man. I can't find the right words, but I know even when my mom and uh and, and my pops was was putting on that uniform on, nigga. We was hot, nigga. We've been hot since the eighties. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I, I remember, I remember some times in the nineties. Definitely in the nineties. No, back Where? in the seventies, in the sixties, you might not want to get caught at the Green Duck. I don't know. Yeah, I, well, I, I just. I mean, but then that was just. But then I mean that was just uh, consolidated in one particular area though. Back in the seventies. Yeah, but but I think what happens though is like that that whole thing of like niggas they like down south slow, Midwest slow, oh, no. and, and, and and it buys into that Hollywood frame rate of Midwest down south slow, and niggas don't realize how hot it is in Kansas City. You know what I'm yeah, saying? When I was in like, like, like they talk about Chicago and Chicago, rightly so, they should be talking about. Chicago. They should. They, they should. And because there's a murder in reality. Per capita is always behind Kansas City and St. Louis. Yeah, mm-hmm. like when I was oh, in the was, military, dog, I was like, exactly. I was like, yeah, we we eventually moved out to Overland Park. But the reason why we moved out to Overland Park was because South Kansas City was getting hot, nigga. South Kansas City is too hot. I yeah. went to a high school where a nigga got hit upside the head with a hammer. Mm-hmm. And that was the final thing when my dad said, okay, we not coming back to the rest of high school. Niggas, niggas are getting hit upside the head with hammers in the middle of the day. Yeah. Yeah, I remember a, a story uh, not too long ago, probably about in the early 2000s or uh, so, where a 14 year old girl was got murdered at that park right around Ruskin. Oh, nigga, my one of my uh, my cousin's son got fucking. We, we we talking about people catching strays on this right. uh, in this story right here. My mm-hmm. cousin, um, uh, uh, Phyllis. Her baby boy, I, you know, and I'm sorry, I can't remember his name. I'm so sorry, but he was at a ra- a random gathering at Swole Park and caught a stray. Just yeah. like four or five years ago. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, y'all can just really go back through uh, the archives and check out the source of my side eyes over the over the decade over the uh, last two years. And I'm constantly mm-hmm. talking about somebody who. Uh, somebody. Is, yeah. You you talk about either talking about either being talk. killed or, or on on one occasion kill somebody. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Right. Yeah. So it's like it's it, it the thing is, it's real and you can't I don't know if it, it it's it's not I don't wanna say it's not getting it's not getting better. I don't know. I I don't feel it's good. I mean it, it, I don't know once again, I don't know if it's the twenty four hour news cycle. So you gotta take that into account too, right? The twenty five, mm-hmm. but the numbers are numbers. Have. But numbers are numbers too, right? No, the numbers have been the numbers. Yeah. But the yeah, and that now that we're getting, you know, we can get news faster because of not only the uh, news and social media. You know, that's that also uh, kind of adds on to the the uh, I guess the stories of um, the killings in. 
Kansas City, and I, I, I would even throw New Orleans in the mix too, because New Orleans, you know, we've been, yeah. uh, you know, with a high murder rate, you know. Um, just, I want to say a couple days ago, man, I get five streams on my phone, five alerts on my phone of somebody getting shot, uh, shot and killed, you know, just doing random stuff, just, you know, driving around in the car or at a park or, you know, just, just doing just normal everyday shit here in, um, New Orleans. Yeah, man. So, so I mean, I, I mean, so I get it. You know, and I used to live in, like I said, I, I used to live in Kansas City, you know, for, 30, for the last 30, what, two years. Come back. You know, and, and, my, and my brothers want me to come back. <laughs> but nigga, come on, dog. I, yeah. I, I, I hate it in that context, but you know why we want you to come back. But nigga, nigga, nigga stop. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, but, hell yeah. Um, but, uh, yeah, man. I, I mean, I don't, manhood, womanhood, all that shit, uh-huh. man. Take a deep breath, man, because not only are you 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 putting some way someone away forever, you also uh-huh. committing yourself to you know one, once caught, you know what I'm saying. In the guilt will uh-huh. get you also if you're not caught. Oh yeah. You just yeah. You you, you, you putting yourself in the system. Mm-hmm. You, you're taking lives away, man. Just, just think about it, man. I, I don't, I don't yeah. know what to say, man. It's just like since it's killing, man. Right. Yeah. yeah. Like, like, like Zeb would say. Um, you know, we we gotta be consistent. We if we're gonna claim that Black Lives Matter, they need to matter always. Always. Yeah. You know yeah. Always. Not I mean, when it comes to cops, it needs to right. come to uh, all of it. Yeah. You know? Right. Right. Exactly. We can't just say that it's the white cops killing black black uh, unarmed men. It's not just that. No. It's we we're doing the same shit too. You know, we're killing each other. You know, Black Lives Matter, one hundred percent on both sides on both sides of the court. So. All right, man. Let's let's move away to this. OJ always uh, brings us. On this podcast, I like Hello OJ. To the world. Hello to the world. Hey, OJ, you there? Yeah. <laughs> hey, world. Uh, hi, old. <laughs> Nigga, stop it. Stop it. I love your, it. Your OJ, your OJ stops at hello to the world. Which, it's pretty good, though. I ain't going to lie. <laughs> so, uh, killing. Let's move on. I mean, not it's not lighthearted, but not, not about black folks killing each other. Or, you know what I'm saying? But... Let's move on. OJ got something to say about uh, John Gruden. Hey, Twitter world, it's me, yours truly. <laughs> Hell of a football game last night. Uh, Lamar Jackson, you're back in the running for MVP. Of course, it was decided like many games this weekend by the kicker. Uh, Blankenship missed the PAT and a field goal at the end. And of course, he's my fantasy kicker. <laughs> uh, well, there, that's that. <laughs> All the conversations about Gruden, and many people are asking me, can a football coach with all the black players in the NFL be a racist? And I said, when I played, uh, of course they could, because a lot of them were from those southern schools that didn't allow blacks, and they didn't know how to communicate with blacks. We had a linebacker coach that, when he talked to the white uh, linebackers, he would coach them, you know, move here, move there. But he couldn't talk to the black co- uh, linebackers without yelling at them. Damn it, I said this and that. I don't even he was doing if he knew he was doing it but they asked me to talk to him because they said they can't cut you juice and of course he said juice you worry about your side of the ball i worry about my side of the ball and uh but he did get better um is gruden a racist i don't know i remember george wallace uh talking to me and some all americans at a banquet once and he said he didn't believe all the things he said he only said it to get in office so he could do something different uh Sure, sure, George. Uh, I know a guy today that's uh, in politics, and I always thought he was an elitist and not a racist, but he's pretty much doing the same thing. Uh, uh, Bruton, he's got the trifecta going. Uh, misogynistic, uh, homophobic, <laughs> and racist, right? I, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. He has to go. Uh, I didn't like him as a coach. I thought he took a Tony Dungy built team and brought some energy and they won a Super Bowl. But uh, after that, he's just a 500 coach. And 
I did love him as an announcer. I thought he was as good as they got. I thought he should be in the Hall of Fame as an announcer. He was entertaining and educational. In any event, he's gone. Maybe Chucky really is Chucky. <laughs> I'm just saying. Hey, guys, come on. Get your shots. Wear your mask. Take care. Hold on, God. dog. Hold on, dog. The old, oh, but here's my thing, though. Did OJ say what every nigga been saying who ain't a Las Vegas fan? Yes. Or a former yeah. Oakland Raiders fan or Tampa Bay fan, dog. Dog. Because I, I have always said that I've, I've never been a big Gruden fan. Right. But I've always said, and then, but here's the thing, though, right? I wish I could find, I could find the clip of Tony uh, Dungy. Defending this nigga with him and uh, uh-huh. Tariko that night, uh-huh. but uh-huh. I've always said the only thing Gruden has done is taking a Tony Dungy team and won a Super Bowl. Uh, and won a Super Bowl. I've always said. That. <laughs> hey, hey, you would be exactly right. <laughs> I would. I, the only thing is, I don't have a format or. Uh, now I got. Now we got a podcast with okay. like ten listeners, but I never had a format to be like. Play the tape back, nigga. I've always said this. <laughs> Actually, no, you know what? I got, you know what? I can find, I can find, I'm sure I could dig up the the the, uh, the text group that me, Damon, and my homie, uh, Jerome, who is an Oakland fan, has. I can find that shit because I'm on record as saying the only thing this nigga's ever done is taking a team prime to win a Super Bowl. That's all he ever did. And being a white man, there to do it. Right. Anyway, OJ ain't lying. Oh, OJ no, killed not. that. Here we go. Let's get it out the way because we got a couple new listeners. I know we do. At least one. I found. I found one brother who will listen. OJ killed oh. that white woman, or he hired the people people to kill that white woman. That's out the right. way. But since then, OJ. Ain't I don't lying. know. I don't know. I don't know. Mm-mm. What? Mm-mm. OJ not guilty. That's how they find him. Okay, but can we, nigga? Like my daddy said, like my daddy said, who's a homicide, who's a homicide detective? He said, uh-huh. I don't know if he killed him, but he definitely paid the nigga that did kill him. Exactly. <laughs> that motherfucker know. <laughs> he know. He know all about the and I, and, But anyway, and one thing that uh, Sylvester Winston has never done to me. He never lied to me in them in them right. in them in them uh, short years that I was blessed to get his knowledge. Right. So what I'm what I'm saying is, yeah, that nigga did it. Anyway, I don't, um, I don't I, like I said. That, Sylvester Winston said, "I can't prove that he did it, but he definitely did pay the niggas who did did it." Okay. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, but OJ is uh, always. Dropping facts and don't 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 read the comments. White people mad that OJ still happy and free. Don't read the comments. I mean, he's loving life, there. bro. He, nigga, oh, his teeth, he is loving life. His teeth is so white and he's smiling <laughs> so big. White. <laughs> oh shit! And the fact that at the end of it, you know, he talking about though. He talking about Trump when he said, "Yeah, yeah some, he did. somebody yes, he went did. out and become president." But we ain't talking about it. We ain't talking about that though. And then he hit him with that. Get your shots. Get your shots. <laughs> <laughs> but no, but real talk though, like, um, uh-huh. yeah, there's a lot of. I mean, there's been play, like. I've never played NFL. We never played NFL. But there's been a lot of players to come out to say, like, he ain't that dude. And, like, right. and the, the thing that um, I was telling about my homeboy, Jerome, um, mm-hmm. one day, he said he'll come on the show one day, but he, he busy. Um, we've always talked about it. I said, I didn't like this nigga when he had his little ESPN show. And he uh-huh. just tried to seem so smart. Like right? he run an X Y Z trap route, right, 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 F clef clef right two, and it'd be two niggas running out routes. And I'm like, he just he just trying to seem to seem cute and smart, right? You know what I'm saying? And it's just like, yeah, I never put NFL, but I have read some some playbooks, and that nigga just <laughs> saying words, right? <laughs> so. 
well, I'm glad they got rid of him. But um, go ahead. Go ahead. No, but I'm saying yeah. So that was my next point, right? They got rid of him. Uh-huh. But do we agree that it, like he's just a sacrificial lamb, right? Sacrificial lamb? That's a stretch. How is it a stretch? Because <laughs> you, you, you're talking about executives who knew about all this. And then when you dig deeper, because all this came about because they were investigating the Washington football team in their hostile uh-huh. work environment. There's okay. emails about there's emails and images and all that shit about executives having um, naked pictures, semi-naked pictures of uh, cheerleaders and all this shit like that, right? You know what I'm saying? Right. There mm-hmm. is um, people who knew about it, uh, Drew Brees being one of them, because he sat on that executive board who would be mm-hmm. privy to these emails that your boy sent, right, at this point in time, right? Right. Okay. So why that nigga get in the past? I don't know. Uh, and that might play a part into why when they had Tony Dungy and uh, Tariko doing this, uh, these two Nick. Well, Tariko doesn't say he says that he's Italian, not black. But when they had these two brown men defending your boy uh, Gruden at this point in time, yeah, that might have been why. Uh, it, it it looks very suspicious that Drew Brees wasn't there on that telecast, right? Because mm-hmm. okay. he would have been sitting on that executive board at that time when all these emails were coming out. Mm. And he would have been privy to these emails that your boy sent to this committee saying that right. your boy was a rubber lip, whatever, whatever. Right. So, I mean... Yeah, yeah. He 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 was the easy the easy lamb for me for all this, right? Cuz he's an employee at this at ESPN, which is yeah, the ESPN, right. company. Um and then the bigger picture is we all know the Washington football team was all fucked up during this time. Right. Right, of course. So of course. so he's the easy red meat. And then on top of that, he did, and then, like, and when I say this word, this is the words used in the email, let's not forget, he called Robert Goodell a faggot. Yeah, and and I think, I haven't watched it yet, but everybody mm-hmm. has, has doubled back to the, the Chappelle uh, comedy special. Yeah. Wow. And say that this is case in point of, you know what I'm saying, he can call people anywhere all damn day. Right. But then as soon as he, he uh you know, crossed the, the alphabet folks, mm-hmm. that's that's when the hammer comes down. So yep. yeah. I don't know, man. Uh, I think it's uh, um, I don't wanna get into that, but Yeah. Uh, that's um yeah, that, that that is a topic for another day. Yeah, but me. I hear what you're saying, Joe. But <clears throat> but what was led was that he called the the uh, the president of the the players union big lip. Mm-hmm. That's what led initially. Called him, called him what? He called he. Well, he's like he has lips like rubber tires, and then yeah. he was like, "Oh, that's what I say." And then he tried to double down and say, "That's what I say when everyone's lying." It was like, "Shut the fuck up." Don't know you white man. To... Don't know white man say rubber lips to other white men. Right. So that's what you led. said about niggas. And then I think the um, the New York Times, one of the the big publications, all the mm. other shit came out after that. I think, but that was what led. But I hear what you're saying though too. Okay. Mm. So yeah, with that, I mean. I mean, I don't know. I, I mean, I don't know. I, I am, I am. I can see both sides of it. Where in the past it was like, oh, you were able to say faggot, queer, this, this, and that. But if you said racist shit, that's what got you hung up. But now it has changed. So it's like I see both sides of it. 
Uh, and to me, it goes with like you, like I said, somebody, like somebody was like, "Well, why is this coming around now?" And I was like, "Well, if I'm in, if if I'm on HCA servers, HCA email saying fuck these crackers, I should get fired." Right. I don't. I don't know why you would do that at all. I mean, but, so, right. but, the, but he, the environment in NFL must be wild. But he did. Yeah, exactly. He did it though, right? He did it. Yeah. He, he did it on. <laughs> Not on, on not, not, on, not on his Gmail, not on his Hotmail. No. He said on these ESPN yes. Disney servers, I'm gonna say faggot, uh, big lip, um, wow. and then then he I, had. I'm I'm pretty sure I've never said anything wild on the email. I'm pretty sure, nigga. Like I was, like I, I'm, I was not. Shit. I, I'm sure I said some wild shit in text, and I know I said it in messenger groups. <laughs> oh yeah, mm-hmm. we, we we all have. Oh, uh, we have. Uh, but on email, nigga, no, no, no. But here's the thing, though. Specifically, specifically, a certain age group of white men don't understand. Mm-hmm. And when I, even when I asked them, like, have you ever done this? They go, I wouldn't do that. I'm like, well, nigga, why don't you understand? <laughs> if you wouldn't do it. If why you don't, you why don't you understand that this white man's getting fired for something that you wouldn't do? Right. Mm-hmm. Now, no, hold on. Not getting fired, he stepped down. He resigned. Yeah, he resigned. He was for. He was basically forced to resign. Well, and, I mean, but but he was about to buy. He was about to buy NBC. So. Ah! <laughs> there you go. I thought it was Disney. I thought it was Disney. His parent company. He's about to move up and buy the parent company. Anyway, it's like, but 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 here's another thing too, though. None of the white women who watch sports have ever said, "I don't understand." But all the white men, which leads me to believe, and I said to one white man, you know, I think I talk at work, and once again we talked about like not leaving to go to do like uh, contract jobs. Uh-huh. Because I'm an employee ACA and niggas ACA love me, I'm allowed to uh-huh. talk my shit. I said, that says more about you and your language that you don't uh-huh. understand. Mm-hmm. These white women understand, but you being a right. white man don't understand. That says more about your privilege and your reach and what you think you should be able to stay. And they was like, well, that was in the past. And I said, the the Holocaust. No, was, no, I said no. no. no nigga, nigga, I said this a word. I said the Holocaust was in the past, but they still snatching up eighty year old white women. Last week, a eighty year old white woman was put on trial. Mm-hmm. So is the, is the past the past? It should be forgiven. And he was like, no, I'm not saying that. I'm like, so what the fuck are you saying? I said, matter of fact, my matter of fact, my I didn't say my nigga. I say to that to y'all. I said, matter of fact, my man. I'm still trying to find these white people that were smiling in these lynching mm-hmm. photos. Right. Damn real. Is that the past? He was like, no, no, I ain't saying that either. I'm like, well, well, what the fuck are you saying? saying? Fuck you saying, nigga. Nigga, th- I want the same. Uh, I, same energy. This is the only thing that I would say that Steve Harvey ever said I agree with. I want that same vigor. Mm. <laughs> vigor. I want that same vigor, dog. So what is it? So is the past the past? It should be forgotten, or is the past the past? It only should be forgotten for certain things that young white men agree with. Right. Never forget that nigga. Wow. That, that white yeah. man still blinking right now. I swear to you. Mm. <laughs> I, I and I invite him on the podcast too. He ain't coming. Uh, <laughs> I no. said it ain't gonna be ain't with a bunch of angry niggas who all woke. <laughs> Just like <laughs> what you mean. <laughs> Matter of fact, he said, I listened to one episode. I'm not coming on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you had you had somebody on on, on uh that was talking that mess wanted to come on? No, he didn't want to come on. He was like no, I'm saying. No, no, he was like, I he like I like, I talk about the podcast at work. Now I'm mm-hmm. I'm like like you. I'm pretty much eh, whatever. Yeah. You get me. I, the same shit I say at work is the same shit I say on the podcast. I just don't say nigga at work. That's pretty right. much it, right? And then right. they, and then like he was like, "Nah, I've heard the podcast. Y'all eat me alive." And I was like, <laughs> "I was like, yeah, you need to. That lets you know you need to change the fuck you talking about and thinking." Hey, yeah, man, I don't come in this fucking uh this, this hornet's nest. 
Yeah, dog. Nigga, I, know, know, it's it's shit. I said, matter of fact, I'm like, uh, here's Joe and here's 10. And I'm going to lean back and be like, eat him up. Eat yeah, him. <laughs> so that way he could be like, well, you yeah. said, and I was like, no, no, no. I didn't say shit. I just lean back and let my let my niggas get at you. <laughs> but I already told you what's gonna happen. Right. Get you morning. Hey man, I, I remember I remember I remember um do you remember you remember the um the white woman who did that experiment with the uh the blue eyed babies or I, I think I think she, she does the thing where she puts a collar on people who got blue eyes and they get discriminated against. I think she did some research back when she was a school teacher. Uh, Damn. Uh, uh, you know what I'm talking about, though, right? She and it was like, um, I think that's what she did. I think that's the experiment she did when she was she was doing that, trying to teach racism to uh, to white kids and that type of shit. And, that's and, and, you know, you know what I'm talking about. I can't think of her name off the top of my head. Mm-mm. That's why I remember. But I remember uh, she came to town. I think the Shawnee Mission, and there was an uproar about that shit. And you and this is before the podcast. This is you, me, I think Damon and, and, and Rick, and we were sitting there on Facebook, and some some white dude wandered into that motherfucker to to have some comments to say, and it's like, nigga, you walked into the wrong fucking discussion, bro. Dog, <laughs> dog, it's <laughs> like he got he got, got mauled up in that bitch, nigga, oh. mauled. <laughs> and like, and it and it's like we all smart. And it's like so many levels, like, and, but that's the only thing. Like, it's so many levels of education, man. Mm-hmm. And even though we differ, but it's like niggas be smart and niggas be up on it. But and niggas smart, bullshit. niggas sarcastic as fuck too. <laughs> yeah. and, and, but like, but that's the thing of it though. Like, niggas be sarcastic and just like, and certain groups don't get it. And I and I see it at work all the time. They just don't get it, and I just be like. Okay, <laughs> but what? But what part are they missing, though? The sarcasm, dog. It's like the sarcasm. It's like, like, like the other day, like, and and, and she she may have meant well. So mm-hmm. it, the other day was like, like boss. Like it was a boss. You know, every day is a day now. Boss Appreciation Day. So yeah, three, yeah, So yeah. there's three cards and names on it. Uh huh. And she was like, now make sure to sign the right card and look at the card. Look at the, the envelope. That's who go. That's the, who the card goes to. And I was mm-hmm. nigga, I almost said, bitch, what? <laughs> <laughs> and so you know me. You know your, boy, uh-huh. your boy's an uh-huh. asshole supreme. So the of rest course. of the day, I was like, hey, y'all. Uh, master say to make sure that <laughs> you match the cards up. With the right boss man, because the boss man who name on the card, that's the who the card go to. And she was like, oh, that's not what I meant, Roger. And I'm like, I said, understand this. I didn't hear you say that to nobody else. Ooh. Right. Wow. She questioned your intelligence. She think you got wow. that knee roll. And, like, and then like, also wow. like, these niggas don't understand. In the military, and we getting mm-hmm. off topic here, but this would this is this is what we do. This is how the topic went to. Yeah, yeah. nigga, I was a medic in the military for 21, 20 plus years. Right. I have a nursing degree. I choose mm-hmm. not to be a nurse because I make more money as a technologist. Um, right. But they don't they don't understand this, right? They think that the RN nursing is the be all be all. But in not a the field that we work in, which is a very specialized field, technologists mm-hmm. make more money than nurses. That's what it is. Yep. That's how the field is set up. Mm-hmm. Um, I've had people say to me, "You're just a tech," mm. not realizing <laughs> not not realizing that at one point in time I was a registered nurse. I've right. had people say to me, "You can't do this, this, and that." Not realizing that, <laughs> bitch, I have I have provided critical care to soldier members in the field who have lost <laughs> limbs, who have lost sight, who have may may or might may or may not have died due to my interactions in the field of battle. Um, right. But all this because my badge says technologist on it. Right. And once again. 
go to it being you just black or white or whatever. That's mm-hmm. that. That's that. That that's that, oh, that's that bullshit, right? Yes, yeah, that bullshit. There, there, that's- man, dog. There has been a nurse who told me, "Oh, you can't count instruments <laughs> unless the nurse is present." And I said, "Because I, I'm a technologist, I can't count." Right. And they was like, "Huh?" And so, like from here on out, whenever she's around. And she get mm-hmm. mad at me. Like, this nurse gets mad at me. I'd be like, oh, lordy, lordy, lordy. <laughs> <laughs> what am I supposed to do with this keyboard and all these numbers? What am I? Hey, nigga, I play it up, Joe. You know your boy. You know, and 10 on your boy. 10 work with me, too. You, you ain't been with me in the lab, Joe. One day you should come with the lab. I'd be like, oh, lordy, lordy, lordy. These numbers and these words. What am I supposed to do? Oh, oh no. I mean, he was. What is the word? Oh, there are white women in the room. I should not look upon them. Nigga, I've said that in public. Oh, man, that is bro, hilarious. Bro. Walk back and, out, and, man. and when she's like, walk and when, in there, and when, get that shit, walk back out. And when she <laughs> says something, and, and if anyone takes me to HR, I will uh-huh. say, bitch, you said <laughs> I cannot count 29 instruments. Because I'm not a registered nurse, even though at one point in time in my life I was one, even though now currently I do have a degree that says I'm a nurse. Right. Yeah. Be careful with that though, man, because you know what I'm saying. I, I, know, I, like, I, I, I gotta be hey, careful. I know. You I reported it. this when it happened. You know what I'm saying. I get it, but at one point in time, I, I mean, I also could say that she's creating a hostile work environment. Say I have less intelligence because of is it because I'm a technologist or because I'm a nigga. Well, I well, agree, but then they can turn around and say the same thing because you playing it up. You know what I'm saying? So I feel you. I feel you. I, I, mm-hmm. I agree with the lookout. I just hate because I've, I've been in rooms when people have said, you're just a tech. And, 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 in the, and I get it. In the, in the EP field, the technologist runs everything. Yeah, we pretty much are. Ain't, ain't no pretty much are. It's us and the physician. Yes, pretty. Yeah, that's it. And then you have your your anesthesiologist who's making sure the patient's asleep. Those three people make everything happen. And I hate to say it, that's what it is. Mm-hmm. And nurses, and there are RNs who are upset about it. And it's like, dude, that's the world. You can go to the floor and work weekends and be on call, or you can be down here and right. make easy money. What you want to do? Yeah. Anyway, move on. Anyway, my nigga, uh, but I, I would try to be more. I, I have pulled it back a little bit. Thank you, Joe. I have pulled it back mm-hmm. a little bit. Mm-hmm. But when she said that, though, you can't count those instruments. I said, bitch, what? Yeah. yeah. Anyway, all that to say, John Gruden just put in writing the deposed Raiders coach expressed big the attitudes that are too that are too common. In the NFL, he also said, I'm leaving. Mm. So, I don't know where everybody's been. Um, we just, we, we alluded to it. Shit ton mm. of emails came out. Um, not just John Gruden, but, ho, who would have thought it that there are um, uh, racist, homophobic, sexist, sexist uh, people in the NFL? I'm shocked. Hmm. But in that, you know, just I mean, in that, like, you know, part of the culture of the NFL. I think that's fucking football culture. Period. Yeah. That's, no, I'll, that's high school, college, okay, NFL. Okay. Oh, okay. I, 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 was I, I was trying. I was trying to spare him. I was just. I was I trying was, to spare the other ones. But I was trying. Yeah, you about right, Joe. No, no. Fuck. Fuck football. I was trying to explain to somebody that's. I said military culture and NFL culture, NFL culture are very much aligned, very much aligned. And somebody did that because, of course, military, oh, God bless them. You know, the military, the flag and all that shit. I'm like, oh, it's fucking meatheads. It's meatheads. As long as men still run, run the military, yeah. You're right. They're very much aligned. And and and, and cause some guy was like, well, you can't go. I said, yeah, like certain medical um, 
detachments, corps, uh, battalions. Yeah, because it's medical. There tends to be a night. It's still highly uh, male, but there tends yeah. to be a higher percentage of females in there. But you go to some of these line units, line units, nigga, it's savage as fuck. Yes. Marine Corps, still savage as fuck. Oh, yeah. They ain't gonna change. And then add that into uh you add into you go to, to some of the when I was in Iraq, my first uh deployment to Iraq, we were with the Polish, these multi uh national coalition bases where mm-hmm. uh it's all male infantry with the Polish, nigga. Mm. Nigga. I ain't saying it's right. I'm just saying that's what it was. Damn. So the Polacks are Oh, nigga, wow, huh? nigga, they was, nigga, they was walking around and just in their motherfucking just just draws, nigga, around the base, sun sunbathing. Wow, even, and it got so bad, even Marines was like, "This is too much." <laughs> nigga, the Marines said, "This too much." What the Marines say? This is too much. The the eleventh the eleventh mu, which is the eleventh. A Marine Expeditionary Unit said, "Okay, uh-huh. we need to have a town hall about this. There's <laughs> a lot. It's a lot of dick swinging going on on this base, and it ain't, it ain't our dicks. Polish dicks swinging on base. Yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, I mean, in the, in in in." in, in the NFL ain't the military, even if you want to think about that like it did. They say they all soldiers, but it is entertainment. It is civilian. There needs to be some kind of fucking like coaches. And at this point in time, he wasn't even a coach. He was a nigga who was a commentator just saying reckless shit. Right? Right. Mm hmm. So, I don't know, man. So, I mean, I don't want to dig too deep in this, man. I mean, surprise, surprise. A white man who has benefited from the hardworking niggas don't care either way about niggas. And they don't point, and that's Joe, as, as um, I'm about to say Jose, goddamn. As. <laughs> This guy this guy growing my hair out, nigga. Now I'm Jose. Is that the deal? You're not you, Jose, nigga. Yeah, I was about to talk about uh, OJ, but Jose okay. is about to come out, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> that been a good take. Uh, as OJ would say, I don't know if he races, but he definitely ignorant as fuck. Yeah, I. You know, you you brought up a different angle. The uh, the the sacrificial lamb. I hadn't heard that, but I I do know this. I've been I've been enjoying all the memes from teams. That really can't stand their fucking leadership. That's uh talking about hacking they hacking their ownership's uh email. Like <laughs> they I said something to Gator about about them uh them Bears? Bears fans, Bears fans trying to get in there and check that, out check that, out they shit. That Nagy? <laughs> oh Nagy. And it, and it, uh, they they been on uh old boy from the Cowboys, uh Jerry yeah. Jones. <laughs> but, but. But hold on, dog. Jerry, nigga, we already know Jerry. Jerry Jones is uh, Don Johnson from Django. Right, nigga. that's what I'm about to say. They said, they said <laughs> like the script of Django, nigga. Yeah, I yeah. mean, but I mean, but real talk though. Uh, I lost my train of thought. God damn it! Oh damn, I'm I'm bro. old and been drinking. But yeah, nigga, second fish and lamb, bro. I don't, I don't. He's the tip of the iceberg to me. You know what I'm saying? I mean, look. I mean, look. Look at uh, who's the uh, old boy from uh, New England who got caught literally with his dick in somebody else's hand. Oh crap, Robert! Yeah, crap, crap nigga. What nigga? What are we talking about? <laughs> <laughs> that nigga got the biggest. That's the biggest yada 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 I have seen. Yeah. As far as NFL. Well, he got a happy ending and. Happy ending. Yeah, dog. But like that nigga still in charge. Yeah, he's our owner. What the fuck you gonna do about it? No, no, but but like, but that goes to my yeah. point of the sacrificial lamb. We talking about yeah. emails opposed to a nigga who may be involved in a sex trafficking ring. Yeah, well, no, that I mean, I, I know they got rid of the uh, old boy from the Clippers. Yeah, but oh. that's 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 yeah. I mean, that too. 
Pull this but that's the thing. Also, similar shit. I, I mean, think, probably I a little more. I think they want to get rid of that nigga. I think they want to get rid of that nigga, though. But I mean, it took a lot to get him out the paint because he was an owner. Yeah, Gruden oh, is an employee. I mean, he's a high paid, high paid employee, but he's an employee. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I mean, so. I, I don't know. I, I, to me, it just seemed like you talking about millions and millions upon millions of emails that's out there circulating. Picture right. circulating, and the one picture they talk about that Gruden was uh, passing around was a picture he had of a uh, uh, a shot of up under some uh, cheerleader skirt. Nigga, to me, that's the tip of the iceberg. Right. So, but anyway, I mean, I'm, I'm sure more will come out, or right. it may not come out. And, um, the in, in, well, the NFL might be like, if y'all want more coverage of this and want more access to our players and our media, we gave y'all what we, we gave y'all some red meat. We Shut gave the fuck you up. one. <laughs> we gave you one. No, One's we, we know that's what happens. Somebody got to It's like I, I mean, it's not to that extent. Damn, I, I hate using those extremes, but it's like Ali North type shit. You know what I'm saying? We gave you a lamb, nigga. Shut the fuck up. Anybody in the military know that ain't no fucking uh, lieutenant colonel <laughs> running guns here and there without the military's approval, nigga. It's that type of shit, you know what I'm saying? So anyway, whatever. So anyway, we, 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 we will keep an eye on this, as we always do when we mention shit. As we do. As we do. John as Gruden, we do. The rest is, we, we, are, we are already covered it. Fuck a John Gruden anyway. Yeah. Break bread with your brothers whenever possible.